G'day mates. Today we're gonna to play a game of I Spy with My Little Eye. And I'm gonna teach you how you can spot your REM sleep cycle right there on your Sleep HQ charts. It's pretty cool stuff. Now I recently put up an announcement on the Sleep HQ Pro Community Forum. G'day members. Asking for people who wear Apple Watches to send me through your sleep cycle and send me through your REM sleep timestamps, your REM intervals when you were dreaming through the night. So I could match them up on your Sleep HQ profiles and look for any patterns, which I already knew. Let's have a look at it. So this is Phil's sleep cycle right here. And I have to say, Phil, it's a bloody sexy looking sleep cycle you got here, mate. Incredible. He's only awake one little time here. Look at all these beautiful REM periods right here, 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 here. Great core sleep and a lot of deep sleep, especially at the start of the night. And this is what we often see, a lot of deep sleep in the first two, three hours of night, and then it sort of trails off. Um, I've seen a few billion sleep cycles in my time. All right, let's have a look at the REM timestamps. Here they are here. And I'll do a tutorial, guys, on all this, how you can set it up, it's so easy. Basically, if you've got an Apple Watch, you just go to Apple Health, click on sleep, set up, wear your watch when you go to bed, and you can get this incredible data. It's really cool stuff. I watch mine every morning. First thing I do after I've given my lovely wife a little kiss, sometimes a little extra, if you know what I mean. All right, so here are the REM intervals for Feb 9th to 10th. So it's recent data. The first interval, 49 minutes, running from 12 o'clock midnight to 12.50. Second one, 14 minutes, running from 1.50 to 2.03 and so on. Now we're gonna pull up the Sleep HQ data. I reordered the charts and we're gonna look for some patterns, all right? And these are some things that you guys can look for as well. If you're interested and you wanna see in your Sleep HQ charts when you're dreaming and what happens to your therapy when you're in REM sleep. Okay, let's do it. So here we are over on the Sleep HQ dashboard and what a dashboard it is. If you'd like to get your own dashboard, Click the link above, grab yourself a free account. Now I've reordered the charts, which is something you can do with Sleep HQ, and I'll run you through them. To start, we have the pressure delivery from his AirSense 10 machine, automatically going up throughout the night. We've got the flow rate, which is Phil's breathing. Every breath he takes, we can see in high detail, high definition. We've got the pulse rate here. Now the pulse rate information, boom, 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 is coming through from the O2 ring that he wears respiratory rate, breaths per minute, and then coming through from the CPAP machine. And we've also got the flow limitation here, okay? Partial upper airway restriction. Now, straight off the bat, if we just sort of step back and take a look, we can see a few patterns emerging without even checking out those timestamps, which you will in a second, especially in relation to the pulse rate, the respiratory rate, and the flow limitation. Look, I can see it here. Look at this with the pulse, right? With the respiratory rate, nice and flat. And then all of a sudden, look, you get these periods of instability. Okay, see here? See how all of a sudden it's becoming erratic, irregular. There's one period here. I can see another period here. I can see another period here, another one here, and another one here. Let's see if they match up with those timestamps. So the first timestamp was 12.01 to 12.50. Let's check it out. 12.01 right here to 12.50. Take a look at that. Have a look what happens. All right, all of a sudden his heart's gone from 51 beats per minute. And all of a sudden, look at it now, 68 beats per minute. All right. Erratic, irregular, okay? Look at it spiking. And that's matching up with the respiratory rate. The breathing is also becoming erratic. And then also there you can see there's like this cluster. He's got quite a lot of flow limitation throughout the night, but you can certainly see some clusters, can't you? In green here, there's a cluster here, cluster here, associated with, uh, with the REM period. All right, so that's number one. Let's check out number two REM period. 150 to 203, where's 150? All right, there's 150 here to 203 here. You can see once again, same thing as last time. Let's see what happened with the pressure this time. All right, nothing really too much happening with the pressure there. You can see an increase from nine 
up to 10.48, so it has increased during that period. Nothing too bad though. All right, let's check. Sometimes what you'll normally see is during those REM periods, you will see an increase in the automatic pressure most of the time because of the atonia where your muscles relax. Your body basically goes, becomes paralyzed during REM sleep. Right, your brain, your heart, everything's really active inside, but your, your body, your muscles, you're like a mummy. All right, and they're not sure why, but research believe it's so you don't go acting out your dreams, you know, reach across and slog the misses when you, you think you're in a boxing match with Mike Tyson. All right, let's go to the next one. Next one, 25 minute REM period between 318, 343, 318, I don't even need to mod it up. There's 318 right here to 343. Once again, this period here. Yeah, you can see it. It's clear as day, clear as night. Check it out. And look here at the pressure this time during this REM period. All right, have a look at the pressure. 9.42 right up here to 11.36. A big pressure jump because the airway is collapsing, muscle tones collapsing, jaws falling back, tongues falling back, automatic pressure increases. And look at the flow limitation as well. Big increase in the flow limitation, yeah? This big cluster here associated with that REM period. Now, there was a few members that laughed at me when I said this. I hate to say, but I told you so. All right, let's check the last one. Second last one, 24 minutes, 4.56 to 5.20. So here it is, 4.56 to 5.20. Once again, you can see it, guys. Hey, look at the flow limitation, boom! Big spike there, look at that big spike in the flow limitation. What do the pressure do? Here's the pressure, big jump up in pressure. See? The REM cycle, guys, the REM cycle. And then the last one, 40 minutes. Man, this is a damn good sleep cycle, I gotta say. Look at these beautiful, big, healthy chunks of REM. Great stuff, I love it. 40 minutes, and the last one, 6.33 to 7.13. 6.33 here to 7.13 here. All right, there's the last one here, you can see. Once again, pulse rate becoming very erratic, jumping up here, 83 beats per minute. Um, we've got the respiratory rate becoming erratic. We've got the increase in flow limitation. Is there anything else we can talk about here? Oh yeah, let's have a look at this. So I've got the leak rates here as well, and this is really interesting. So Phil is using a pillow mask, nasal pillow mask. Check out the leak rates as well that line up with these REM periods. Look, see these big increases in leak? Now this is mouth leak. And why is he having mouth leak? The pressure's increasing, but the muscle tone, the atonia, he's losing all that muscle tone. Everything's relaxing his muscles. So his jaw opens up, increasing pressure, air shoots out his mouth. Uh, we've got some snore associated, but look, every time, look, there's one REM period, second REM period, third REM period, look at the leak, fourth REM period. Crazy stuff, eh? So even if you don't have Apple Watch and you're not monitoring your sleep cycle just yet, you can still go in there, reorder your charts, and you can have a little bit of a sticky beak as to where your REM periods are located throughout the night, just using your sleep HQ data. How cool is that? Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Now I'll let you in on a little secret. In the coming months, you guys won't need to guess anymore because you'll have all that information right there in Sleep HQ. Until next time, guys, sleep well, look after your mates. Hope you enjoy the video, bye. G'day, mates. This video is sponsored by Sleep HQ. Upload, review, and share your detailed CPAP reports with anyone from anywhere. Visit sleephq.com and join our free community today.